Hello, 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 Cynthia Toa, Miss Flip It In, your gypsy medicine woman, oh, your happiness coach, of course, of course. You like my little, my happy, happy buddy? <laughs> and I'm going to keep the happiness. This reading is about uh, mending the broken heart. I think we're all going through a lot of broken hearts, having to change our life perceptions to from the way we've been or the way we walked our lives or lived to this perception to what feels more like love <laughs> so um and it always starts with loving ourselves when we can fully truly love who we are as a person fully and truly is when you actually attract that love that you're looking for back out there in the world so anyhow here we go with our first one uh, it says the that has to do with the uh, chakra energy chakra chakra excuse me let's see i'm gonna see what the actual book says just as a quickie you want a quickie <laughs> and it says uh i want i want <laughs> know that your chakra chakra is the second chakra and it's located two fingers below your navel and it's related to emotions, desires, and creativity, and sexual. Woohoo! Better watch out for that sexual thing. We don't want it to be hurt in our broken heart, do we? It says, to activate this chakra, visualize a glowing orange ball of energy in your belly area. Like an orange ball, like a fireball. Yep. Yeah, we could do that. See it spinning and sparkling, and feel the joy as it grows larger and larger and sends orange sparks out to the universe by energizing this ch uh, chakra chakra let's hope i'm saying it right if i'm not forgive me because <laughs> you love me right okay you attract creativity joy passion and love into your life now who doesn't want that i think we all want joy passion love in our lives right okay so this is what we're going to do we're going to visualize that orange color and right there below our belly button and we're going to let it be spinning around and so when it's spinning around like it's a ball of light like when it's spinning it, it's starting to have some of the sparks go out from it and spinning and spinning and letting that build the energy within you to get that passion going get the desire going so you can let it radiate through your body and let yourself feel it okay okay that's what we're going to start with in mending our broken hearts is start with that radiant feeling within ourselves. Start with that passionate feeling within ourselves. Start with that loving feeling within ourselves. So that's what you're throwing out there to the world. That's all you can attract back then. What to do, what to do, what else would you like to tell us about our broken hearts? And that's what it wants us to be doing right now. So, so let's see what the next card has to say and i'll give you the story right along with the new day oh dedicated effort i don't know did i show you the first card i don't remember okay. dedicated effort the dedicated look at we have love you know you're painting the story of love you're painting the love story you're painting the love that you want your effort is through the passion your effort is through the desire the effort is through the love that you gave yourself that you're able to get that back in return and um yeah that picture is being painted so you when you're having that orange your second chakra vibrating at a balanced speed and it's radiant and it's full of desire and passion and you're loving all of who you are as a person as a whole and that's what you're putting out there that's what you're radiating out there out to the world and when you go out in the world that's what you actually see coming back at you no matter what's in between even though there might be this broken heart in between going on it's saying if we start to operate from that second chakra from our from our passion and our desire from our joy from our laughter from our play then that's how um, we start mending our own broken hearts is because we start loving us ourselves the all of us the masculine side the feminine side both sides and 
and you start to paint your own story. You're starting to paint your own love story. You're starting to paint your own life ahead, which is with ease, which, which is with desire, which is with passion, which is with comfort, which is a place of feeling at home and feeling loved at, in that home. Okay, okay, what else would you like to say to help the general public out there, the, the collective out there, or not just general public, anyone that's watching this that has a broken heart that's looking for a way to get it mended? The answers will come through, yes. It says, what are we working on? The heart chakra. That's what we're working on. We get the second chakra spinning and believing and working from the passionate self, working from the loving self. It is healing the heart. We are falling in love with who we are as a person. When we were born, we were loved <laughs> unconditionally to bring that love of when you were born up into the moment to you are loved unconditionally. All we have to do is believe and we will succeed. Keep believing in your own love. Keep believing that you are a loving, radiant soul. Keep believing that um, there is that love story out there with the healed heart operating from the second chakra with the passionate self. Believe that you will receive that healed heart. Okay, let's see if we'd like to share any more cards. This, this deck is actually called um, the Psychic Tarot Heart. Of course, I don't always read, I hardly ever read from the book. I read from whatever it is, the story that's supposed to come out when the cards come out. Um, I don't read reversals. Why? Because this, if there's something that's um, negative, it shows itself, and I don't. I only know how to tell you how to get that self to feel better. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. What is it? It says yes. We're in the middle. So what we're doing? This is the process of rebuilding our heart rebuilding our heart chakra, rebuilding our, our perception of what love is, rebuilding our souls, rebuilding our, uh, rebuilding our wings <laughs> so we can fly again, is taking care of ourselves first. Operating from our passionate self, our desired self, get that, that uh, second chakra with the, the orange light going and spinning and spinning and spinning and get it spinning so you can feel it throughout your body. So you can feel it starting to heal some of that old pain from all that old hurt from whatever was taught to us to believe in this old way. Let it spin past that pain. Let it be healed. Free the pain of the past by allowing your second chakra to spin fast enough to touch the pain, to go through the pain and says, I love you. Let your body feel that from that passionate self. And that broken heart is starting to be healed through the chakra, the heart chakra. It says, hey, thank you for giving me the tools, for giving me the gifts, for touching me in a new way so I don't have to be broken anymore. So I can operate from this vibrant self, from this radiant self, from this loving self. Thank you for giving me the chance to rebuild my heart when it got broken. Let that broken heart be our gift. Be our gift towards more love for ourselves. Because when our heart, our heart gets broken, we still have more room for it to expand, to get bigger, to love more. And we love us first. We can't give our hearts to someone else when it's broken. 
because it's only us inside of ourselves knows exactly what that heart needs and it needs to be operating from the passionate self the things that are fun the things that are enjoyable the things that make you laugh the things that make you play the things that you're doing that you lose track of time that's what you're supposed to be doing, operating from that passionate self. And when you start going in that direction and you're doing those things that you love to do and you stop trying to gift out your heart, but you start living from that passionate self where your heart just is shining, heals the heart that heals the love life, that heals the love story. Just by believing we can do this, we can heal our broken hearts. Did you know that? We can by believing that there's a stronger force in love within ourselves. And you can always ask for the higher help with the help of bringing in the feeling, the radiant feeling of love into your being to help you through that process. Let's see what else anybody would like to do. It says maybe flip. It says yeah. What do you have to win? What, what do you have to lose? You know, it's it's like it's your life. You get to choose. So see the choosing the light, choosing the brightness, choosing what's radiant, choosing the heart. You have nothing to lose. By trying to get that second chakra radiating at, at with the orange and radiating at a higher vibrational level you have nothing to lose when you start working off the things that you just love to do which makes you feel joyful and passionate and that you lose track of time you have nothing to lose by operating from that um, mindset from that flow from that energetical flow um, it's the mind is free then it just gets to be gets to be me is what I want to say get to be yourself it gets to be free it gets to flow it's not like oh am I supposed to do oh it's time to go do this oh no it's 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 time to flow into this oh it says I don't want no more from these and we do have this other deck that I was gifted and this has to do with this. What does it want us to surrender to? We'll only pull one card with that. What would it like the collective out there to surrender to when it comes to mending the broken heart? Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. What's it have to say today? Yes. I've been. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Surrender to healing completely. That's all it takes. Open fully to the loving, compassionate force of the universe that supports your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Surrender to the healing from all levels, physical, emotional, and spiritual. Why not? Sounds like a win. It sounds like a win-win to me. <laughs> and I have this other deck. Let's see. Oh, there's one. No, not that deck. We already did that one. Sorry. This is an angel. Tarot card. Okay. Let's see. What would you like? Uh, what would you like to collect you to know from this deck right here that wants to flow, flow, flow? <laughs> Hmm. Let's see, let's see. What's it have to say today? What's it have to say today? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you saying whoa oh, for? <laughs> so this, it's this talking. Talking wool. There it goes. There it goes. Oh. Well, how many? That was too many cards. Okay, well, we'll take them. Seven of Fires is first. It's Okay, first, <clears throat> Seven of Fires. Defend your beliefs and your decisions. Stand by your... <coughs> stand your ground. <laughs> the cause is just confirmation. Choose your battles wisely. 
I choose my battles for fighting for my own self-love first. And then what comes next is the Knight of Errors. It says, intelligence, decisions, uh, tiredless. So you can go on and on and on. Yeah, we could use some of that. Events that occur, occur with great speed. Things come faster then. Take time to carefully review your options. Creative solutions. So things that start coming at you so fast because you really, you start loving who you are and then all these others start going, oh, I love this. I want some of this. I want to, I want some of this. You know, you have to be able to choose um, with caution, with creativity, to know that you want to choose with the higher vibrational levels involved in the choosing. And then the last card out is the Ten of Earth, and it says a very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things of life. You're happy not just financially, you're happy with, to me I look at it, you're happy you're grounded, you're round, you're taking care of all, all areas of your life are in good order. It's everything is loved, everything is uh, beautiful, everything is joyful, everything is admired, and you're grounded, you're stable. That's what I look at. You're stable and in, and you're feeling whole and complete as the family, as part of a family. radiant and shining and beautiful it's one of one of the best cards in the deck i know there's others like the sun's the very best but the ten of earths is is really that you, your life is together and it's together with love and what better way to have the heart be mended from that broken heart that we've all been suffering from till next time have a very beautiful day this is cynthia toet miss flip it your gypsy medicine woman and your happiness coach. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It helps cha the channel out and it helps get the message out to other people so they can enjoy uh, the message within the reading too. And what else? Something else. I don't know what it is, but have a wonderful day. Till next time.